So when you hear the phrase swingers cruise, what comes to mind? For many people, it's a mental image of a nonstop partying, wild hookup, complete lack of boundaries. Basically a nonstop orgy on the high seas. Well, is it really like that? Well, not totally, but it can be wild. But the question is, do you have to be a swinger to set sail on one of these voyages? Let's take a look. There are a lot of misconceptions about swingers cruises out there, and I think it's time to uncover them and take a closer look, no pun intended. Uh, one of the biggest myths is that these cruises are only for people who are super into the lifestyle and that everyone on board is there to hook up 24 seven. But the truth is that's not always the case. Sure, some people go on these cruises specifically to meet other like-minded individuals and kind of, you know, get their groove on, but it's not the only reason people attend. I have a lot of nudist friends that go on swingers cruises as well as swingers resorts because it's one of the few venues that allow nudists to get their textiles laid aside and enjoy being all natural. Strangely enough, the Bliss Cruise, which is one of the better known swingers cruises, allows less nudity than, say, the big nude boat. You can only be nude in the pool areas or the playroom, but more about those later. Some people just like the sexy vibe without the need to join in, and that's perfectly fine. Another common misconception is that swingers cruises are all about sex, and that's it. But the reality is, these cruises are often many vacations that just happen to have a sexy twist. They offer a range of activities, from pool parties to live shows and even educational seminars on topics like relationships and intimacy. There's a lot of sexy themed games and events that can be a lot of fun. And like any cruise, there is a lot of entertainment and games provided by the ship as well. Yeah, and you have the ship's amenities like the spa, the fitness center, the dining option. You also very often have options for some clothing optional excursions you can book through the ship. These can give you additional opportunities to find more activities where you can shed your clothes and enjoy the great outdoors. So what can you expect from a typical swingers cruise? Well, for starters, you'll usually have a range of theme parties and events to choose from, from masquerade balls, naked pool parties, 70s, 80s, things like that. Some cruises even offer special workshops or classes on topics like erotic photography or sensual massage, and that list is huge. You might be concerned that you'll be approached or accosted to jump in bed with you know, somebody constantly, but then again, that can happen in any bar you may visit in life. Most swingers I have met have a little bit more class than that, though I won't guarantee that it won't happen. What I can say is if they offer and you say no thanks, that will be it. That will be the end of discussion. Have a good day. Good day, sir. If they persist being bothersome, most other swingers will come to your rescue or the very present security will step in. No means no, and it's a very central tenet of the lifestyle so you should not have a lot of problem. Uh, there are often colored wristbands or other overt indicators like little necklaces that you can show whether you're looking for a hookup or not. These go a long way in turning away those hunters. Well, I alluded that we would talk about the playrooms, so we'll dive in, but first, if you like the type of information that you see on my channel, I would like to ask you to consider liking and subscribing. It helps the channel greatly, and it costs you nothing but a couple of mouse clicks. Now onto the playrooms. Yes, there are a good number of large rooms on board that are set aside for some adult activity and I think you know what I'm talking about. Most of these are just spaces that have mattresses laid out on the floor, some side by side, uh, though some can include like full beds with curtains or, or sheer materials that separate them to allow for some privacy. You are not expected or mandated to participate if you go inside these rooms. If you just want to watch or walk through or whatever, that's fine. Your overt consent is absolutely required for anybody to pursue sexual activity. You can visit these rooms, observe, participate if you want, don't if you don't, and join in if that's your thing, assuming that you're invited to join. On the cruise I was on, there was a BDSM room open so you could watch, ask questions, or participate in those type of activities. I heard a fair number of seminars on this subject were available as well. Uh, in addition, many people decorate their cabin doors with message boards and other cute things to facilitate meetups. And to top it off, a good number of people would throw mini parties in their staterooms as well. One of the best things about swinger cruises, in my opinion, though, is the sense of community that develops on board. You'll often find people from all walks of life, from young couples to retirees, uh, all coming together to have a good time. And the inclusivity is key. Whether you're a seasoned swinger or just looking for a fun, relaxing vacation, you're welcome on board. 
I have found in my experiences that nudists and swingers are some of the most friendly and inclusive people I have ever met. But here's the surprising truth. You don't have to be a swinger to find community and enjoyment on one of these cruises. In fact, many people attend simply because they're looking for a judgment-free zone where they can be themselves. To meet up with old friends from cruises past or because they're curious about the lifestyle but not necessarily looking to participate. I've spoken to people who have met lifelong friends on these cruises or who've discovered new aspects of themselves and their relationships. It's not just about the sex, it's about the connection, the laughter, the memories you make along the way. So to recap, the idea that you have to be a swinger to enjoy a swinger's cruise, is just not true. These voyages are all about inclusivity, community, and having a good time with that sexy vibe. And that's something anybody can get on board with. Well anyway, thanks for watching, and if you've been on a swingers cruise or have any questions about them, I'd love to hear about you in the comments below. And if you're planning a cruise of your own, be sure to check out my videos on cruise planning tips and tricks. And that's it! So if you're thinking about it, hope this helped a little bit. Oh, and don't forget the sunscreen.